What's up, guys? It's Kobe Ashimaru holding it down at the Golden Egg Weekly number one. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the finals. And we have Luigi's versus uh, DKMR Hosty. And I am your hosty with the mosty, Kobe Ashimaru, with my co host, Root Eggy. We have been here with you for eight hours casting the Swiss style tournament. And we've seen a variety of wonderful decks. So we're really excited for the finals and cannot wait to uh, to cast it for you. And here's my co-host, Root Eggy, just on time. Finally, the finals. Best of five. Pretty much first to three wins. That's right. Best of five, first to three wins in this finals. And um, just remember, guys, that this uh, tournament started with 30 great players. Uh, they all came. They joined. They played the Swiss style tournament, and now one of them will leave as the champion. That is very true. Did you say 30? Wasn't it 30? 64, man. 64. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> there were 64 entrants to this tournament. Yeah, uh, I think from Luigi's, we've only seen Shaman so far. I thought he also played a Warlock. Hmm. Might be right on that one. It's been a long cast. We've casted a lot of games. Who can remember right now? Yeah, I, but I know there's been a lot of Warlocks. That's all I remember. There's been a Warlock. lot of Handlocks. We've not seen one Zulock. We only saw one Hunter much earlier in the tournament. He got bounced out. So it's pretty clear here that this is a, a, a Handlock tournament. And guys, this is Eggy here. Give you a little free screenshot before I go back to his doggy. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, there you go. Yeah, we're, it looks like they're starting up soon, and uh, we're going to be looking at it from Luigi's perspective, unless something goes wrong. But at this point, we got that's how we're going to run it. Hosties um, stream for a while, so it'd be nice to see it from a different angle, from the yeah. other side. And I'm hoping we, we, we already know Hosties decks, yeah. So it'd be nice to see what Luigi's up to. Yeah, we do know Hosties decks. He's he's got a good control warrior, right? Yeah. He's got a really strong handlock, as we've seen, and. Um, was he playing the druid, or was his opponent playing the druid? Um, uh, I think it was his opponent. Yeah, okay. So his last deck was the shaman. Yeah, I gotta that tell you, sense. we have been doing this for like eight hours, and I am or seven hours, but I am pumped. I'm probably more pumped because it's almost over, but I'm excited. <laughs> I'm, pr I'm pretty pumped for, for almost 4 a.m. right now. This is it. He's Ooh. chosen the rogue. So I like he's it. kind of doing a little gamesmanship with what he was picking, but now we've got it. It's, it's a, yeah. It's good. The rogue versus the hand lock. This is a classic matchup in this tournament. This I would say is the classic matchup in this tournament. And I believe rogue has won, if not a good percentage of all of them. Yeah, rogue has definitely done very well. But remember, there have been a couple decks versus oh no, it's versus the warrior where the hand lock got that crazy twenty and twenty four yeah. damage combo. Yeah, it was. I also think there's a. Rogue versus Warlock, where the there was like a sap and it won the game, or yeah, something like that. Something with something with Leroy. It's always going to be Leroy. Absolutely. Um. So he's got he's got the Drake, the Hellfire, the Earthen Ring, and the Power Overwhelming. Yeah. <clears throat> Not a bad hand. I'd probably throw away the. Actually, I don't know. It's a pretty good, decent hand to keep. And uh, Hosty is trying to decide what to do. He's taking his sweet time. Yeah, like, I've never actually seen the countdown timer in a while. Yeah. He's taking a lot of time here. He really wants this. $5 for second place. Yep. And, so he ends up with Shiv, qualify. Backstab, Drake, and Prep. Hmm. That's pretty good. But... Backstab is kind of pointless for the most part against Sandlock, unfortunately. Yeah. Not many things you can kill with it. Most of the minions have 3 HP and above. So, action is on Luigi's. Places a dagger, attacks with a dagger, standard play. Nothing, nothing out of yeah, the Yeah, absolutely. Unfortunately, draws into another Hellfire. Not really needed, unfortunately. Yeah, it's just not a needed card. Yeah. Kind of hate when I draw into doubles and like, ah, draw into doubles early game. It could be something else, could be useful. But alas, it's a, another Hellfire. But Hellfires are good against the stealth. If you can get a 
If he can get uh, Blood Mage Thalanos and a Hellfire, he can clear the Auctioneer when, when the time is right. But standard play going down right now. Nothing, nothing crazy. Just early game shenanigans between the two players. Just kind of trading off damage here, damage there. While the Handlock yep. tries to accelerate his hand. Yep, and it's on the Rogue now. And he's got four mana to play with. He's got a Sap. He's got a uh, Shiv, which he's going to play. Draws a Gadgets in, which is really nice. So mm. he's got, he's got, he's getting the cards he needs. That's for sure. He's building his combo, and Auctioneer is really all he really needs. <clears throat> and the Sap isn't too bad, but I don't think I would Sap back the. Yeah, there's no need to Sap it back. He is going to though. He does choose to Sap that Drake. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. I. I think Sap should, unless he runs uh, an Owls for Silence or something, I think it might have been better to save it for one of the Molten Giants in the future. Or at least if he taunted it, yeah. then at least then it'd be worth it. <clears throat> but now if he taunts it, then, yeah, so he doesn't so have a Sap. He's got the Gadgets in, he's got the Backstab, but how is he, and he's going to prep. He's hoping for something. Yeah. Like an he's Eviscerate. He's going to conceal. Nice. The conceal for free. Always yeah. a good card. Yeah, so I the actually... prep gave a conceal for free, basically. That's really what he was going for. It's yeah. a pretty strong turn five. And he has another auctioneer in his hand, so he can he, he has the ability to lose this auctioneer if he has to, because he still has one more in his hand, so yeah. it's not the end of the world. Yeah. But the, he does have two hellfires in his hand, and all he really needs is that blood mage down those to try to clear it. Yeah. Because uh, as long as he clears that card, it'd be good. But there is no form of... Does he have a uh, Shadow Flame in his hand? I think I see it. Bah, bah, bah. And he puts down... And... Whoa. I think he, I think he just played down Shadow Flame. On my, on my screen, it looks a little funky. Yeah. But... Looks like he wasted his... Uh, I think he used a power... Uh, it was just a lot of damage that he just did, but I guess it was worth it to trade. Puts down an Azure Drake. Good for the draw. Um, good to have a nice 4-4 minion out on the board. Um, I guess he could Hellfire plus plus Immortal Coil, but not worth it at all. At least not right now. Yeah. So he gets down the, the Defender of Argus. He's going to get some defense up. He did get rid of that Gadgets and Auctioneer, which is huge. So, he's in a good spot versus Rogue. Yeah. And now he has the 5-6 Taunt, which is going to be a little bit hard to deal with. Uh, he might have to trade out his... Well, a Phantom Knives plus an Attack wouldn't be the worst. Yeah. Gets to trade. Gadgets in. Ah, not Preparation. Bad. Preparation and maybe Phantom Knives, I think. Phantom Knives. <laughs> Yeah, not a bad play. If he draws it to, he's got two eviscerate, so he can definitely he could eviscerate. Get it's worth yeah. might as well eviscerate. Keep the minion definitely. on the board. And is he going to conceal? Uh, I think mm, it's his last gadget in. It is, but or is that nah? Maybe it wasn't conceal. What is that? It's shadow. I think oh, shadow, shadow step. Shadow no, step. Shadow yeah, step. shadow step. <clears throat> so he does have an option of Hellfire plus. Uh, that's not a bad option. That's probably his best option right now. Is Hellfire plus Mortal Coil. Yeah. Um, draws a card. Probably now nah, he doesn't want to tap, but he might tap just to lower his HP. But there's no reason to really. Um, but for the most part, right now, um, the game is pretty slow. Everybody's just kind of waiting for their combos. Um, but the Leroy Jenkins does come down. Now he has one, I think I see one or two, sh I see two Shadow Steps in his hand, so I think that yep. might be GG. Yep. Yeah. Especially with the Eviscerate also. Yep. There it is. Wow. That's a yeah. lot of damage to output in one turn. Yeah. That is pretty ridiculous. Well, they don't call him Miracle Rogue for a reason. So yep. That is, he, he, uh, he needed a Miracle Rogue. and he got it. 1-0 goes to DKMR's <clears throat> Cavalier. 
Oh, I know it's with an H. I just forgot. Hosty, it. hosty. Like, we got a hosty. hosty. I want to call him hostess. Hostess. We've got a hostess <laughs> with the mostess. Exactly. So now he has to wonder what deck he's going to choose. So he, he just lost against a handlock. I would say warrior. Most likely would be the optimal. Would be the obvious hard counterplay. But I think a shaman would be a good choice too. It right, looks like we're ready for game two, guys. So this is game two of the grand finals of the Golden Egg Weekly, number one, the first tournament. And we have DKMR Hosty versus Mana Grinds Luigi's. And if you guys were watching, game number one... Wait, is Luigi's choosing a different deck? Why is he choosing a different deck? I'm confused. Uh, Luigi's lost. Hosty won. Oh, shit. I was... Oh, my, my table. Okay, never mind. I th okay, never mind. Yeah, you're right. My best. Yep. So Get Luigi's is going to have you. to pick a new deck, and Hostie's going to stay with his hyped deck, quote unquote, which is his Miracle Rogue. Yeah. I'm just, uh, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just tired. <laughs> You'll just show yourself to the door and go get a nap. It's all good, man. It's been almost seven hours, and we have not gotten a break. These players have gotten breaks between each round. You and I have been going nonstop. Yeah, I'm kind of excited for bed, but uh, more excited for this finals. Dude, I'm excited too. Moment. My girlfriend's texting me, and I'm just like ready to pass the fuck out. <laughs> oh man, it's happening. Yeah, here we Why go, is man. So is it uh, going in? Well, they weren't so. sure if it was a best of three or a best of five, uh, so they yeah, were waiting on our info, and I just saw it in the chat. So yeah, okay. That's 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 what happened here. I thought I. No, you definitely but, said it a lot. I, I heard it many a time. I just, I'm so tired, I wanted to confirm. Yeah, no worries, man. Uh, All right, guys, we're in. They're gathering spectators. That's right. They are positioning the ho heroes, and they are choosing the board. And we are into game number two with Hosty versus Luigi's. And it is a Shaman versus a Miracle Rogue. I like that. Shaman, Shaman is a good choice. Shaman yeah. is always pretty solid. It's Shaman is like, I feel Shaman, when you choose Shaman, you kind of like, it's like Druid. It's always just a solid choice. At and least this, in the current metagame. And this Shaman has a big game Hunter, which I like. Not versus Rogue, but I really like it in the meta with all of these uh, hand locks. I really like one or two big game Hunters, or maybe one big game Hunter and one Black Knight. So I'm liking this deck of Luigi's. Yeah, me too. Now um, we see the Argent. You can pretty much be sure this is probably a tempo rogue. Two Argent. The question is, does he also run the Argent Squires? And as we have a loot hoarder coming down, he's asking if anyone minds if he rides need. Excuse me, if he <laughs> rolls need. He can ride need or roll need. He can do both. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I would like to see a Blood Knight. That'd be cute. Oh, Blood Just Knight with would Argent, be nice. Argent Squires, Blood Knight. Mm, yeah. I always love that It's more card. of a Paladin kind of deck, but I absolutely love it. Okay, yeah. so the... the Let's see what we're doing here. We got... Uh, both of those minions are down. Got the card draw from it. Or did he? Did <sighs> he... I think Wait. so. And, it, and he does have the Gazakhstan auctioneer yeah. in his hand, so that's yeah. the good news for turn five. Yep. Um, and the Conceal, and the Coin... That is a nasty yeah. hand right there for Miracle Rogue. Yeah. That is pretty nasty. And but I do like turn the, five coin. Oh, yep. God, I do like him defendering up his minions, not because it's gonna do a lot of damage, because it puts something on the board, and once the rogue gets rid of it, he can put back the ferals. Yeah. Again, preventing these massive swings of attack. Yeah, he wants to force the uh, force uh hosts into just playing more cards than he wants to. Backstab. And okay. Does he coin? Ah, he does coin for it. He coins gadgets in. He backstabs. He preps. And what's he going to do here? I'm guessing conceal. Yep. Nice. <clears throat> that's that's a pretty good turn. So he's gotten all rid he of needs, one. All top. he needs is like a. All he needs is a nice fan of knives. If I were that's Luigi right now, I would absolutely play my other feral spirits. Now, granted, ah. there's a way to clear it with. Um, the Blade Fury, but I think you have to take that risk because he doesn't have a Lightning Storm to even try to get rid of that 4-4. Four, four. 
yeah, this is the problem when you're playing a shaman or a druid. It's just almost almost impossible to deal with the stealth 4-4 four, four minion. I mean, I've Sometimes. often dealt with it by having one totem on the board, uh, the spell power totem, and then bringing down a blood mage and, a, and a casting your lightning bolt, your lightning storm. But yeah, you got to get lucky. Yeah, it's just a, a huge combo that you actually have to pull off in order to... I don't to know actually... that I like this and not playing the ferals. I, I feel like one minion's easy to wipe, and yeah. I don't but know. The only reason he would want to save the current feral is uh, saving it for late game when he knows when he knows that combo is coming, and he uses yeah. it right before the Leroy Jenkins comes in. Yep. Um, that's probably the best situation to save yeah. it for. No, it's it's important, but you you can get a cold blood combo right now that can do like twenty uh, fifteen damage. Yeah, it's dangerous. So he gets Playing. rid of the uh, the flame tongue. That's good. It's a good start. Ah, uh, yeah, he gets it, but he's just he keeps drawing cards. I feel this game is going to go in uh, loot in uh, host's favor. Yeah, it's just um just the amount of cards he's trying and the combos that he's getting. And he's got it's a lot be... of cards that are unusable, the Shaman. Luigi's has, like, uh, the big game, two Argents, uh, Alakir. None of those were usable till now, so it put him in a disadvantage. Yeah. I mean, even if he does, the Archer Protector would be nice. Actually, two Archer Protectors in a row would be even nice, so we'll see what happens. And he's, I think that's his second for this right? that totem is not ideal. Let's see what he finishes off with, because that's not ideal for sure. But I think... Plus the weapon, so he gets to trade. That's kind of nice. It's not terrible. But it's um, nice. uh, I don't. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about this. The Argent's gonna clear the gadgets in. I don't. I don't. It is. I'm. I'm thinking this is swinging back towards the favor of the shaman because you only have one gadgets in left, and he doesn't have it in his hand. Yeah. Uh, it all kind of depends what uh he top decks the next card for yeah. hosts. Yeah. Um. He could make some weird... Ah. I mean, he's gonna... He can't spell power shiv. That just doesn't work. Because he doesn't have enough mana. So he's gonna shiv for one. I think Hosty's put himself in a bad spot here. He, he doesn't have a way of dealing with this stuff how he wants to. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing great plays here for Hosty. Maybe I'm missing ah. something. My sound went away for some reason. I don't know why my oh. headset turned off, but I'm back now. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he could do some weird shadow step combo, but then you lose a shadow step, which really yeah, really which sucks. is game end, which could be a game a finisher. You don't want to do that. He's gonna yeah. Drake, and he's gonna leave the four two. He did draw his gadgets in, which is really good. So that's good. Yeah. Might as well trade. Okay, got it. Go this is good. Shadow stepping to SI to kill that. That Okay, I'm good with that. that yeah, you're that's right. what I was thinking before. I mean, it's yeah. an okay play. I mean, the only problem is you do lose a potential of six damage in the future with Leroy Jenkins. Yeah. But you do keep the 4-4 four, four out, which is, if he stay, keeps it alive. It... I like that play, and I absolutely agree. It was a bad... It wasn't ideal because he can't now... Uh, do the double shadow step with the Leroy, but I still think he needed to do something to get rid of that um, Argent, yeah. and he did. So I, he pulled it out. I think at the end. I think. And here comes a second Argus, which sucks. Yeah, Argent. But, yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, second Argent's painful, and the thing is that with a gadget in, and I don't believe he has a way to conceal it. I think he's uh, in a tough spot. Yeah, Shaman's yeah. got a Hex, Shaman's got a big game, Shaman's got Alakir that he can now play. Um, let's see what he draws. He's really hoping for some kind of conceal here. Looks like he gets a Blood Mage Thalamus, which is not going to help him in terms of protecting his only gadgets in left. This is, I think this is slipping away. I, I, I mean, he doesn't have Leroy for the combo. He's going to have to play gadgets in him some turn and play a, a shit ton of cards and really hope he draws into exactly what he needs. He's going to hope for the miracle. That's what's going to happen yeah. here. Uh, there's no other way around it because uh, the Shaman has a lot of HP still. Uh, yeah. The Rogue is slowly getting picked off. And 
that's pretty much it all. He has to kind of hope for that he gets the right cards and uh, works out for him. He, yeah. I mean, sapping I is an like, option. Yeah, I don't like sapping this. He, I really so he, don't like sapping this. Because now he just gets another charge minion with a shield. So. Yeah, I was. This is that's a rough wow. play. I mean, I respect the fact that he's delaying till he gets what he needs because he's in such a bad spot. But yeah. I think he put himself in this bad spot. Yeah, no doubt about it. But the only good news is if he happens to play down the card again, yeah, he doesn't. He can't play anything else for a turn. So it That's is true. It, is a, it would just it is be a night. totem. But I do think you want a spell power totem here, which would be one out of three, because once you have the spell power, it makes you much more likely to kill the gadgets and if it gets concealed with your uh, storm. Yeah, he might be thinking about storming now, which doesn't seem terrible right it's now. It's not, but I don't. I wouldn't do it. There's yeah, an, I don't he knows think there's another storm. auctioneer out there. Yeah, I don't think you want to storm this board. You're not you're not in threat of damage, and you have other ways of dealing with it. I'll care yeah. to trade for both, but... I do not like the storm. I would much prefer the Argent down here, getting rid of one of them. Yeah. But, I guess he trades for both. I would have possibly done an Alakir, but Alakir's nice to keep, too. Yeah, it's tricky. I, I agree with you on the Alakir, but you can sap it, and that's kind of like, you get the six, and then he's back off the board. It's tricky. He got the Blade Fury. This is why I don't like this move. He's going to Deadly Poison into Blade Fury, clear this board, and yeah. what he would have cleared had he not done this was he would have just killed one of the Argents. This is, this is bad news. Uh, this is actually going to shift the control back to the rogue. Here's your Blade Fury. All the Shaman's totems are gone. He doesn't have a Lightning Storm. He's locked out of four mana. He did draw into a Lightning Storm. That's kind of nice. Yeah. Um, I, I really hope he doesn't hex this. Oh, dear. This game is going to really wind. I think it's going to come yeah. down to like one or two cards at most. Yeah. I, I Oh, God. This is just such a bad situation. You can't get rid of the Lightning Storm. Oh, God, he's going to hex it. Okay. So he's he's used the hex. It, it's not the worst play in the world, but it's very, very far from ideal. This is... Yeah. Wow. This is a very interesting game. Here comes your gadgets, and if he can see, if oh he doesn't have a way to conceal it, that's where he's lucky. For now, unless he draws now. to it, which would be great. But remember, next turn he can lightning storm and argent, and if he doesn't conceal, cold blood. Ooh. Yep. Wow. Wow, Some wow, crazy wow. Next so, he, stuff. so he's gonna yeah, he's gonna lightning storm and argent this, clearing the board, which is fine because he's at eleven health, but yeah. much if he gets, of he could take the risk and go for the totem just to see what yeah. totem he gets. By the way, he, he actually doesn't the... even have to argent anymore. He can now lightning storm and fire elemental. Yeah. Or light yeah, I mean he he's got a lot of options. I would probably I uh, I would probably fire elemental here. It's better than the Argent. Yeah. And so, okay, so both Gadgetons are gone. This means it's like playing a hunter without Unleash the Hounds. This deck is way weaker now, but the Shaman's at 11 health. 11 health if he top decks into the right card. He, Yeah, hard. and he did just get the Assassin's Blade. It's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. The question is... He Will he survive? Because he has to play Alec here next turn. He needs to stop damage coming from himself. I wonder if he'll SI his own Blood Mage. He might ship sh his own Blood ship Mage. his own Blood Mage. Yeah. It's two cards. All he needs is a Leroy right now, I think, right? Uh, Maybe. six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Leroy and an SI agent? Uh, four, five. Yes. Leroy and SI agent win the game. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's shiving the face. He's shiving... And he draws into Leroy. Oh my god. What a top deck. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my I really Lord. think the Shaman had that locked up if it wasn't for that top deck. Uh, Hearthstone top decks. Oh my god. Me. Oh my god. Well, it's. Is that two for. Is that. Yeah, yeah that's two, two for, for Hosty. One, wow. One more. One more. Congratulations on the first two games. Like, certainly a bit of luck there. And. 
definitely some plays that we could see going one way or another. But ultimately, uh, that Shiv, I kind of prefer the Shiv though on the on the Blood Mage because he still would have been able to kill him. Yeah. And it gives him two cards to draw instead of one. Oh my god. The amount of that miracle. I, that's why miracle's miracle, man. That was the miracle. <laughs> yeah, miracle on 5th... What is it? 5th Street? I forget. What's that movie called? Yeah, the miracle on 5th Street. I think that's what yeah. it was. It's yeah. the miracle on Hostie Street now. This yeah, guy's... He can't even Hostie's stop. got it, man. Yeah. Looks like he wants to go BRB break. Uh... But people, like, in theory, it's called a top deck, but with only four to five, I don't know, it didn't look like he had more than six cards left in his deck, so it's not that big of a top deck. Once it gets into that range, it kind of gets into, like... Well, he made it one out of six instead of two out of six, which is basically one out of three. So I, yeah. I still think you got to go with the uh, the Blood Mage. Yeah. I'm wondering what he was thinking he could have top decked where the damage on the face was more important. Like was it like was there an eviscerate that would have done the, made the difference? Mm. An, an eviscerate would have been 5, right? Because of the blood mage and he did 2, so that's maybe what it was. If you do the eviscerate damage from the blood mage and the damage from the shiv, that's 5 6 7 that would have definitely killed him. So maybe he was giving himself more outs on the one draw instead of more outs with two draws. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um but that's I think the more important thing is what is Luigi's going to choose? He's in a pretty sh yeah. sh being 2o. I feel in Hearthstone when you're 2o or down 2o, it's uh it's a pretty bad situation cuz that is your last deck. Yeah. And you, if you get countered, you get countered. So uh, I feel, I feel this is, uh, I feel this is just if he chooses the wrong deck. And I'm thinking Warrior might be the most consistent right now. Yeah, you know what's really interesting? Luigi's two O in Atlanta, and that was yeah. Atlanta was killing it. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, you've got Hosty who's winning every single matchup in the round of 8, the round of 16, all 2-1, 2-1, 2-1. And he is now poised to take the tournament. Yeah. He might go for... Actually, Druid would be actually be probably one of the better choices now that I think about it. Especially if he's playing the Sunwalker or even Watchers in it. Or just a yeah. lot of Taunt cards. Yep. Taunts is what you need. That's it. Yeah, definitely. So we've got the Druid here, and he's got the Mark of the Wild, the Innervate, the Chillin' Yeti. And uh, Hostie's got a Sap, a Deadly Poison, and a Drake. And he's keeping them. He's keeping the Drake, the Sap, and the Deadly Poison. And uh, Luigi's is just getting rid of the Faceless. I think that makes sense with the Innervate. You could Innervate the Yeti on turn two. Oh, the Innervate Yeti. Innervate Coin Yeti, right? Innervate is Coin he... Yeti on turn one, excuse me. <laughs> Why <laughs> Innervate so a Yeti on turn with... two when you could Innervate Coin on turn one? I want to see... Might... Hostie's face. I know you guys can't see this here, but I'm going to stare really close at Hostie's face when he plays this card. I want to see uh, what he looks like when he sees this. He, he might do it. I, th I would do it. I mean, it's, it's especially with the Mark of the it. Wild. What is Hostie going to do when he sees this? He has Sap. He has Sap. He has the anti. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's got Sap. Oh, my right. God. He has Sap. Holy shit. He's... Oh, Luigi's is going to be so mad. Oh, my God. That is... That's wow. Like, Oh, wow. coin interview just wasted. Wow. The Russell. <laughs> oh, my God. That is brutal. We had oh. the perfect start and the perfect counter. You know, I think that Hostie has really found his miracle. Yeah. He's, uh, he's really hitting up the miracle tonight. I will uh, say, okay. though, that's an amazing counter, but he's going to get to play the Yeti now. And uh, that sap is gone, and it does not look like Hostie has anything to do with this. He's got a backstab for two, and actually then he can SI agent, or he can poison. So he actually does have ways to deal with this. There's your SI yeah. agent. I actually might have preferred the backstab, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, the backstab can be uh, used... I don't know. I think it's... The backstab can be used any time, so... 
let's say he has like a taunt out it might be more useful when he has like a big taunt like the druid of the claw or something yeah uh, right now he can at least get, get some damage going and force the force the sh- druid to try to make a play which he actually can't because his hand is all pretty much big turned stuff six and yeah plus. and the other thing i like about having the poison is that he has another attack with the weapon so he has another charge yeah, he's got nothing to do. He's not going to face... Oh my god, he's going to face his manipulator and SI agent. I mean, what else are you going to face this? Oh the my deck? god. Uh, it's not a bad play. A gadget then? I don't know. I mean, a Drake? There's, there's, there's almost nothing else you can, like, pretty much almost. I don't, uh, think, I don't know that. I think that's a bad Ooh, play. And a backstab. Oh, he's getting board control now, too. Dude, I think Uh-oh. this is a bad play. I think he's done. I think, I think he's oh. on tilt. Uh, maybe just a little bit. He's like, what the fuck am I going to do with this card yeah. anyway? But uh, wow. Sylvanas is a fine play. We are in the, the finals part. in game three, and Hostie is up 2-0, and we've got his opponent faceless manipulating an SI agent. I mean, this is tough. What a good tournament, yeah. though. No, it's fantastic. But uh, I wonder if uh, Luigi's is getting a little rustled, because that yeah. was a weird play. Yeah. He's just a little. Weird. It's it's suboptimal to say the least, and uh, yeah. he didn't have any other choice. I mean, you might as well just but... you might as well just play and not copy anything because it's a three three anyway. Yeah. But... <laughs> yeah. I mean, seriously. Uh, he has a lot of plays. He can just attack with his weapon, put down a uh, assassin's blade, and just keep whacking at him. Because yeah, yeah. That's probably I would I would probably yeah. I would consider hitting face with the three attack, uh, trading the minions, and then Assassin's Blade. Or I would definitely consider yeah. you know a variety of that. You could also, yeah, I mean, you could fan of knives, but you don't want to give him the SI agent. Yeah. Yeah. I you can trade it, both minions. With yeah, I think weak. you're gonna want to trade. And then you could I mean, bring. Not, and he, he could heal himself for three after. Wow, he's going he's, face. And now he's going to bring out the it. assassin. I'd, I'd I like it. Balls. That's yeah. I would have done that the same thing. Balls I like balls. it. Just go for it. He's got nothing to. I mean, even if he, yeah. Well, he, the mark of the wild's nice though. The mark of the wild's nice, and by mark the, the way, wild, mark of the wild faces manipulator. Two seven rough. sevens. That just changed the entire game. Wow. So this <laughs> deck's running two faces manipulators, and he got really lucky to draw right into this. I yeah. think Coasty's wondering, uh, uh, realizing that he should have um, actually killed that minion and traded his two minions yeah, off. Yeah, he may, he may regret this a lot. <laughs> wow. This is exactly what Luigi's needed to get back in this game. Uh, but he's got the Auctioneer and a bunch of random other stuff that he can play down. I would have played down the Auctioneer in preparation to it, maybe. maybe. Is he going to trade both minions now? He can't. He'd have to cold blood one of his minions. Yeah. Or or actually take the damage on himself. So he's gonna cold blood the he's gonna cold yeah, he's gonna cold blood the SI agent. Man. Wow, when do you use your cold blood to get rid of a Sylvanas? Oh my yeah. god, here's the problem. If he does this, he loses the Drake. He can't do this. The Drake's the Drake no, he loses the Drake. Yeah, well, I think he, I think he just accepted the loss no, of the. Uh, no, no, he didn't realize that. You don't he, think so? No, he did not. Did you like see his? Yes, he like, did not realize that. He just said he's saying fuck. He's like literally touching his head. He's like, oh my god, that yep, there's. He just said that was a mistake on his on his stream. Okay, okay. He didn't realize the double Sylvanas would steal the minion before he got a chance to attack the second minion. Oh man, the pressure he's, man. He's holding his hand. Oh my god, you guys, you gotta I wish you could see this. He's like his hand it up his hand is on his head. Um uh, the emotions of Hearthstone are some of the best. All right. <laughs> uh, I'll show you a little <laughs> bit what he, like, take a look at this. That's funny. <laughs> he he's like he's like going crazy. He's like he's like, No, I couldn't have done it. Oh my god, oh my god. He still he can't believe it. He can't believe he did this. He's like in uh, shock. That was a little bit of a throw. The game of throws. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go back to the other stream. Okay. <laughs> he he's uh, like he's literally in shock that he made that mistake. I'm in shock too, dude. I was just like, what the fuck's happening? Yeah. I didn't I realize it's... until the last minute. It wasn't until like the very last minute when I thought about each step that he was not gonna have his second minion to take the first because he's gonna yeah. lose it till Sylvanas. 
Oh dear. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Wow. I don't. I don't think you can win this game. I just. I'd probably just scoop. Just save some time for Eggy. Go to sleep. Yeah. It's almost five a.m. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> Uh, it's all good. Blade Fury, oh, Blade Sylvanas, and now what does he steal? The gadgets in or the S? Okay, gets the SI agent. So all is not lost, but he can play out an Ancient Ooh. of War. Was, this guy's Luigi's is top. Now this is a miracle top deck in right now. Yeah. But then again, there's not much in the hand of. Uh, just not much. Not much in there. Just a, a Viserain and a. I mean, Hordy. at 15 health, you have to. Get rid of the gadgets, and I'm almost in favor of Sylvanas. I mean, of Scenarius. Uh, oh man, I might you get hero to, power and yeah. Put down the I wouldn't taunt. want to take the four damage though. With, with the taunt, uh, I guess I don't know. With two cards in hand as a miracle rogue. Yeah, you're right, but not, you could remember the double though. eviscerate. Well, that's it. Also good. Oh, he could. Oh, yeah, make that's what I before. like. I like him giving the minion plus two attack. That's what I like yeah. best here. That's what I was going to get at. I did not actually see that. Oh, very well played. That's, I, think, I don't know why I didn't move. see it, but it was there. It's probably because you've been up for eight hours and it's three in the morning for you. Four and four twenty. Four in the morning, yeah. <gasps> four twenty. Four twenty, baby. Wrong four twenty, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, double loot hoarder. So I think he's just got to go, go for face here, which... Uh, he, I guess, technically. The okay, yeah, there he, it is. Three, four, five, top. six. No, I can't do that. Wild growth he's into a card. A... Yeah, he could wild growth into a um, a druid of the claw. That would end it. He could wild growth into uh, a swipe. There it is. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hero power for game. There it is. Nice. Well. Wow. Obviously. That was just the uh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna put uh, Hosty up on stream here, guys. We can take a look and see how he how he deals with that. This is still wrong for There you go. So let's see how Hosty handles this uh, this loss because he definitely made a big mistake. He didn't clear Sylvanas. He tried to clear two Sylvanases. Lost his minion in the process. I is he rattled? Is the question. He's been playing a great series. He was up 2-0, and he's jumped. I, yeah. I think he just wanted to give us like a, a, good, a good show. Game. He is. He's yeah. giving us a great he's show. A, he's a showman. Game he is. And you know what's interesting? He immediately picked a deck. He didn't take a minute. He just jumped yeah. right in. Like I play a lot of games. I play a lot of poker. When you make a big misplay, you want to take a breath. You want to get up from the poker table, walk around, cool down. You could be, He could be on tilt here. Let's see what happens. Maybe I'm, he's definitely feeling a little bit of tilt, but is this the shaman that? No, I think this is just a regular shaman. And shaman versus a druid is a fine choice. Yeah. Uh, solid. They're both solid decks, so it's. I think it's going to come down who makes the best plays, and a little bit of luck goes their way. And he certainly got good cards. He's got hex, which you want versus druid. He's got mana tide, which is good. Two unbound. He's got a second hex. He even has an earth, um, an earth shock. He's got every card you'd want in the deck. For to be honest, game. Luigi's hand sucks. Yeah, look at this. What do we've got it here? <laughs> Sunwalker, Mark of the Wild. You could innervate Sylvanas and just hope that the sheer sight of him will scare him because of that huge misplay from last game. Oh, no. please do it. Innervate Sylv Oh, he's going to innervate Sunwalker. That's fine. That's a yeah, good play, gonna too. Do, yeah, Sylvanas would be, a, would be a fun move, but the right move is Sunwalker. Just I think this is getting the, hexed. I, oh, is it going to be Earthshocked? I would hex this, not even Earthshock yeah, it. Yeah, I'd hex it. Uh, hex it for sure. You can Earthshock big minions to get past. I usually like to use Earthshock for the, like, like the Molten Giants and all the other big taunt guys that come out, but... So that you can go past them and not even deal with them? Yes, usually. Because yeah. usually people feel safe when they're, when they yeah. got these big 8-8 eight taunts. No, it's you true. Just go around them. I mean, you definitely, when there's multiple 8-8s, eight it's nice to have the Hexes late game, and I tend to want to save them late game. But I think versus a, a Druid, you need to get tempo advantage, and uh, Hexing this is a good way to do that. Yeah, no doubt about it. Hmm. If he Earth shocks, the problem is he can't kill it. So yeah, so he goes for the hex. I think that's the right play here. Yeah, no doubt. 
The druid's got five Ooh, mana. He could so, starfall. That's not terrible. Yeah, but you yeah, want to save is. that against the fire elemental because that's a yeah. really scary card. Um, wrath and a. I mean, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Wrath. I was thinking that. Yeah, yeah wrath, wrath hero power definitely. Hero this power. is definitely a wrath hero power kind of move. Yeah. Two damage is nothing on your face. You need to get rid of this thing. And the main reason is, what if you bring out Feral Spirits? Now you have a 5 with two two threes. You just You just can't not. So that uh -huh. whole last game boiled down to him not trading his two minions for Sylvanas. That's what that game boiled down to. Wow. Yeah. And uh, right now in the Shaman's hand, a Mana Tide wouldn't be bad. Because he just, you know he just laid down. Oh my god, you know what he did? What? He, he took the card draw. He didn't huh. finish off. He took the card draw, which is That's interesting. Gonna, I think he's. I think he was gonna plan to put down a, put down the keeper plus a taunt on it, which isn't bad. But now he has to deal with this manatide. Yeah, you got to go manatide here. The manatide's actually scarier than the unbound. Yeah, yep. I agree. So now the unbound's gonna survive, and the which is fine. But now he's just gonna taunt it up, which is fine. Yeah, no, you think about two it. Two damage. Oh, and hero power. Okay, that's fine too. I mean, I don't mind that because then you don't have a body on board for the flame tongue. You don't have a body yeah, on board Argus for the, or for the yeah the Argus for the you know uh, rock biter. I think that's fine. Yeah, that was a fine play. No, definitely the right one. The doom hammer comes out, which is uh, a little bit unfortunate for for yeah. uh, Luigi's because now he gets to trade that out pretty easily. But he takes. So four the good news is he it. saved it's his mark like of the yeti. wild. Yeah, exactly. He saved the mark. Uh -huh. The unbounds here. The question is, with seven mana, does he want to play the Druid of the Claw, or does he want to play Sylvanas? I say save Sylvanas for turn eight for the for that taunt combo. That's a really good And just combo. lay down. Uh, yeah, the taunt is fine. The one thing is, I really don't like playing against a Shaman and putting down Sylvanas and a Mark of the Wild. It makes uh, a Hex or an Earth Shock like the juiciest thing you can do. Like I like to. That is. I like to yeah. Earth Shock something else and have Sylvanas down, making it like, oh, what do I use my spell on? The Earth Shock or the, the Hex or the Earth Shock, do I use it on one or the other? Uh, you're right, but he knows that one Hex has already been used, so he might yep. be trying to bait out. Oh my last. god, he baited oh, a Hex what? into it. That's not a good play. Oh, no, dear. no, 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 no. You do not Hex a Druid of the Claw. I, no, no, yeah, no. I, I don't like that. No, I, I didn't. Ugh. Yeah, uh, no. But then again, we know what's in both the cards' hands, but yeah. I would never, I still wouldn't probably never use a heck. He's not even like in a uh, dire situation. That felt like a dire situation move. Moment. Yeah. Now he's going to be kicking himself. He's, when this he's comes doing out. it for tempo for sure. But and the only good use, he still has the Urshock. No, absolutely. And if, and if, like you said, if the Sylvanas mark comes down, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to have tricked him into like lulling him into a sense of security. Okay, but he doesn't do it. I like that. I like that. He does not use the mark on the Sylvanas. So that's a really strong play. A really good game sense by uh, by Luigi's. So well played there. So he's going to Earth Shock it, which is fine. That's expected. He's he going to... Elemental and yeah, yep. trade it. And that's fine, but he's, he saved his, his uh, Mark of the Wild, which can now not be killed by a spell. There's absolutely... If it, has, it all depends. Well, no, at least he has a Starfall, but if he uses a Starfall, that's pretty much the end of his turn. Well, no, he's got an Innervate, so he can do Starfall, and he can do, uh, he can actually, yeah. he can actually Mark of the Wild Big Game Hunter, and he doesn't have to use a Starfall. That's also true. He can Mark of the Wild Big Game Hunter, because there's not going to be much to Big Game Hunter in a Shaman deck, and, yeah. uh, or he can Mark of the Wild uh, Black Knight, for that matter. I almost prefer the big game hunter because the black knight you can use on a feral spirit. Yeah, I think he's thinking about the Mark of the Wild big game yeah. hunter play. I would go big game. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else you're gonna wanna. Yeah, there's nothing else you're gonna wanna do. So he does use the right play here, really good. Now the question is, do you innervate and starfall the unbound? Mm. How long have uh -huh. these unbounds uh -huh. been out? These unbounds have been did, out forever. He did do quite a amount of bad damage, though. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this unbound, man, that is some value. 
problem is the last card in his hand is a lonely black knight. I know, but it will take care of Alakir, and Alakir's yeah, going to want to come down. Yeah, Alakir right now, which probably will. I mean, it's, it's a next turn card. You need to save it till you rock biter. That's twelve damage, and that's basically the game with a rock biter. With the, with the yeah. do not oh, play I just Alakir. The rock yeah, yeah, yeah. If he plays yeah, Alakir, he he loses I hope the game. He doesn't. Yeah, if he if he brings down the unbound, he wins the game. He could even unbound and as a bait. He could unbound and fire um, Flame Tongue Totem just as a bait because he knows he has the Alakir next turn. Yeah. Yeah, definitely kill the four. Definitely kill the four two. Uh. Yeah. And and go for the face. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I'm okay with the the Flame Tongue here just because it's kind of like a a little bit of a bait and switch. This is going to be a tough situation for Luigi's to get out of, especially with his faceless is pretty big. Yeah, he's got nothing. Hard. I think that's game. I think yeah. I think the Shaman has done it here. Yep, the Shaman's done it. There's no way out of this. Yeah. Oh, DKMR. I think he's going to take it. Oh, that's really game over. Nicely done. Well played. And as we finish off this game... Alakir and a Rockbiter will be plenty to end the game. Yeah. 12 HP. Yeah. And he doesn't even need it with the uh, with the Flame Tongue out there, but he will put it on there. He will go for maximum damage. 16 from Alakir. GG, well played. And as we have it, Hosty takes the win. Congratulations. Wow. DK, uh, don't kick my robots. Don't that's kill right. my robots. Don't kill don't or kick my robots. Is. Mr. Hosty takes the first ever Golden Egg Weekly. Congratulations. Wow, such hype. Twenty. So he comes out with $20, which is, I guess, definitely worth seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, good game will play to all the players. And I think that's about it. I think yeah. that's it. I'm going to message the guys, give them their money, mm -hmm. and... Uh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm too fucking lazy. I'm too tired right now. I'll just get their information. I'm gonna and say GG. Well played to uh, uh, to Luigi's as well. Yeah, well, Luigi's played a great tournament. Um, but uh, I guess the Miracle Rogue really got him at the end of the day. And Luigi's does walk away with five dollars. But yeah, that's about it. Five bucks. Good job, guys. Well, <clears throat> we hope you enjoyed this tournament. Uh, we certainly ironed out a bunch of kinks, and you're going to see a lot more of these, and be a lot more fun. We'll get it even better and quicker, but ultimately, um, you know, you can expect a lot of great games, a lot of good decks, and uh, yeah, thanks for coming out, and a special thank you to Root Eggy for having me on to do this with him. And thank you for letting me use your internet. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, man. All right, guys. Take it easy. I'll be back to streaming my shit tomorrow. So, see you guys. Take care, guys. Have a good Peace night. Out.